What do you think about Wimby? Wimby Young. I really think he's going to be trash. Like, Damn, man. Like, I really think Wimby? He, yes, bro. I really think he's going to be trash. Um, if we get James Harden, then we just re-sign Westbrook. I feel you like, didn't even want Westbrook. I didn't. That's, I that's, that's, see, I thought he was see, trash. See, that's crazy. You. See, that's crazy. Now you're trying to stick with him. Today, in today's yes, work, bro, you yes, would lock yes, up bro. Tyler I will, Hero. I will sit on all that, bro. I will sit on all that. You know how I play defense, bro. Stop playing. Bro. A lot of people play defense in the NBA. Man, man, no. And, and I'm, I'm locking that. I'm locking that, bro. Yo, 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 what it is, what it ain't, YouTube. It's your boy MJ, talented, coming at you with another video, man. This a little something different this time, dog. We can do like a little, uh, what you want to call it, like a little podcast type deal, talking about the NBA so far this offseason. Um, we're going to talk about Wimby, we're going to talk about trades, we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about a lot of stuff that happened over the uh, offseason. So, if you don't know this guy right here, man, it's the homeboy Lawrence. Um, you probably recognize him from the uh, video I did with him in the court about relationships. When a female cheat, they cheating for this dude got more money. You know, this an ex who y'all was in love with. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> you know, it could be, you know, he just he just showing you something. You know, that your that your boyfriend not. Yeah. You no, know, we came a long way with that. But yeah. This need the heat or up. This need the hero there. But um, go ahead, man. You yourself out. Man, how y'all doing, man? We gonna get into this video, man. Let's get it. First topic we gonna talk about is uh, what do you think about Wimby? Wimby out. I really think he's gonna be trash. What? Like, Damn, man. Like, I really. Think, Wimby? Yes, bro. I really think he's gonna be trash. Because Why you first, think that? Because first off. He's too small. Like, he's too small. There's no way that you're getting. Did you not see the summer league game? He got dunked on. Bro, I mean, seven, that's gonna... bro you're seven five. There's no way you're getting dunked on. Then you're seven five. No matter if he's got a running start, uh, anything. So you bro. don't think no seven five players to get dunked? No, on? no, I that's don't think they should. I don't think they should. So that's what's gonna prove they trash. And and, trash? and 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 I don't think he's. I don't think he has. He's too. He's not strong enough, bro. Bro, he just came into he, the NBA. What enough. you think he gonna do? He's gonna be slow too. He's going to be slow. This man bro. can dribble up the court. Man, get his own bucket. Then he's seven four. No, no, because when they put body on him, bro, he's done for. He's no. done, bro. He's done. They put body on him. He's oh, done. You already think he trash, dog? I, I don't think he's gonna pin out. Let me not say he's trash. I don't think he's gonna pin out. I don't, he probably. You don't think he gonna live up to the hype? That's what you saying? Hell no. No, I don't think he. No, not at all. And whoever thinks that don't know basketball. Don't know basketball. Don't know basketball. Do I'm at least give him a chance. Everybody hype him up yeah, saying he, he's the best prospect, probably in sports history. That's how they talking. And what? I feel like yeah, I heard a lot of sports shows saying that he's probably the best prospect in any sport who, in history. Who said that? Some people on ESPN. Lose dog. your license. Wow, man. Uh... Damn. Lose your license. <laughs> Lose hey, your license. That is I mean, crazy. he got the game for it, though. No, he does not, bro. No, he does oh not. God. I'm telling you, when they really, when you, if you really know people who play defense in the NBA, he's not getting nothing on them how tall, no matter how tall he is, because he has no body. He's not going to grow no type of muscle on him. No, how you going to tell a man not to grow no bro, muscle? He's, he's not, bro. He's not. You can he's tell. You can tell how bony he is. Okay. Me him, me him, me him. The same, bro. But what about KD same. though? KD bro, almost and seven he don't, feet. And he don't have no muscle on him. And he bald. Killing guy. But he, but he, how tall is Kevin Durant? He kept on like 6'10", 6'11". 6'10". He would say he's seven feet. 6'10", but he don't, he don't run. Look how, look how buddy. Can't nobody stop KD. You right. Look at how skinny he is. So, so you telling me, so you telling me he's going to be faster than Giannis? He don't no, have to be faster no, so, than Giannis, but he's going to get his buckets though, no, I believe. No, he's not, no. No, now not. all the expectations no, they put no, on this man no, is a lot, so he got to live up to it. But he's not I feel like he's gonna be one of the best players in the NBA in the future. Hell no, hell no. Well, that's crazy, though. No, like who? Like let like only thing I will tell you this. Only thing that's different, like he he's just gonna be shooting a lot because that's what the NBA is now. Only thing they do is shoot. Don't nobody play no type of defense because a lot of these people that be 
Man, you can really, man, don't let me get into that, bro. What you talking don't about, man? Don't let me get into that, bro. These these NBA players, man, these, they're not all that that people be hyping them niggas up to be, bro. It's easy to sit on, man, you can sit on that stuff, bro. You can sit. Come on, man. <laughs> Come That's on, crazy, dog. I, I don't think I don't think he's gonna pan out. Like I don't think he's gonna be. He he might average probably like twelve. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. Stop the cap. Twelve. You probably probably I give him. Probably he's 15, the only player on San Antonio right now. Probably fifteen points a game. He's gonna at least average you, close look, to twenty you or mean, more. You you remember Greg Oden? Yeah. How tall was he? He was like, what, 7'1", seven, 7'2"? Seven, 7'1", seven, and he had a lot of weight on him, right? Yeah. Right, and his knees went bad, right? Right. Right, but he has flat feet, bro. Bro. So when you're on that court, bro, when you're on that court and you, bro, I'm telling you, he's not going to pan out. Bro, and Watch, I give him, I give him, so I'm telling you, bro, I'm telling you. I guess we're going to see, man. Man, man, tough. So what team, through all the trades, through all the free agency, this offseason so far, who had the best offseason to you? I really think sign, uh, the Mavericks signing <laughs> Kyrie back. I think that I think that is the best sign of the year. Like, don't get me wrong, KD, KD, Bradley Bill, and Devin Booker, they 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 going they ain't got nobody off their bench. I mean, I they gonna, they're gonna be they're gonna be tired in the playoffs. And you play with somebody who's gonna slow it down, and you gotta go. I mean, they you gonna, gonna have, they gonna have to. I agree with that. Um, yeah, they gonna have to play defense. So I don't know who gonna play defense on that team. But yeah, nobody. They gonna be uh, scoring like a mother. They gonna have to score. I'll score a lot of people. But yeah, the Mavericks, though, bro. Now that was a key transition for y'all because y'all didn't have no choice because y'all gave away most of y'all bench and y'all role players. Man. So you would have no choice but to sign Kyrie. Yeah, and don't and. And that Seth Curry uh, signing too. I think that was good bringing him back. I just hope he played like he did for Philly last year. I really hope he play up and he don't be injured. Like, cause if he if he don't be injured, I'm telling you, bro, we come we come out the West, bro. Cause the, cause first off, Luka is unguardable. He slowed down you long as long as you slow the ball down. Who will play defense? That's why we got Grant Williams. He's not. He's he's a he's an okay defender. And there and we got a lot of young guys. That plays defense. So, I just seen on Twitter that he said he gonna lock up Jason Tatum next year. He said he can't go left. I'm gonna be physical with him. Hold on, hold on. When did he say that? Stop he playing. said that today. I seen it on Twitter. I this man, I'm gonna put it up there for y'all. This man I said, see that. I well, see that. somebody told me. So I seen it on Twitter saying, dude said that when they play the Celtics, he's gonna lock up uh, Jason Tatum oh, basically. JT. He can't go left, and I'm gonna be physical with him. I mean, I mean, you can see JT can't go left because every time he do, he pick up the ball and shoot. Every time he go left, he picks it up and shoot. So that's why, that's why I don't see why they talk about uh, comparing him to Kobe. Kobe went left. You could dribble. You could dribble four times. So he could dribble four times to the left and go get a bucket. Man, I don't JT want to can't do that. I don't want to talk about how many people they try to compare to Kobe. They try to compare Devin Booker to Kobe. He's not Kobe. Kobe. Hell. Ooh. He yeah, he don't yeah, have the defense like Kobe does. No, he might have the mid range shot like Kobe, but Kobe has post moves. He he can finish with either hand. Yeah, he's a better to me. He's a better scorer than Devin Booker. Now Devin Booker might be more efficient than Kobe. But I feel like Kobe just had more impact on the game, man. Yeah, and so. and he only he only is more Rest efficient. Kobe, though. Right, R.I.P. the Black Mamba, man. But um, only way Devin Booker is more efficient because. You can't touch nobody in the league now. You can't. Like, like if Kobe, good. if Kobe played today, like if it was a young Kobe, Kobe would be averaging, bro, at least, at least 40, 30. I ain't gonna say forty because people be capping when they be like, oh, Jordan average. No, he averaged at least like 30, 32 points. I feel like he'd be one of the least scorers in the league. Yeah, he'd definitely be up there because he he's so aggressive. So every time you don't want to, you don't want to touch him, he's gonna get you in foul trouble. So Damn. after that, you you out the game. Right. You gone. Yeah, I'm, no. Bro, so, no, he averaging 32, 35. Like, let's not like. Okay, so some people think that um, the Lakers had pretty much the best offseason. Some people say that. Do no. you agree? No. Who did they get? They basically re signed a lot of their old players. Like, they had, like, after the All Star break last year, 
know, they went to the fight, conference finals and got swept by the Denver Nuggets. Yeah. Um, so they basically we signed them guys back and they added uh Cam Reddish. Um, he he still got to prove a lot because mm-hmm. he all the teams that he played for mm-hmm. didn't want him. Um, who else they signed? They signed uh the young dude, uh, the point guard from Miami, uh Vincent. Yeah. I, I think he's like tough. That. I like that. I like but that. I feel like I mean he's a better shooter than Schroeder. Mm-hmm. Uh, I feel like Schroeder got a little bit better defense than him, but Vincent do play defense as well. And uh so yeah, I feel like that's a good signing. Um they picked up some other guys. I'm not uh, sure. Uh Prince, ain't that his name? Yeah, uh Got his name. Yeah, Prince, though. I feel like for what they got for him, a one-year deal on that, I feel like that's a good pickup because he's going to play some defense and he can shoot. So, I feel like they did uh, a good job this offseason. I don't think they had the best. Some people think, oh, they one of the favorites to go to the championship. I don't agree because it's still Denver Nuggets because mm-hmm. who going to – basically, they had AD last year guarding Jokic. Jokic was, man, you don't want to talk about that. Hold that thought, cause I, I really think Dallas is gonna beat him. But <laughs> you and his Dallas, man. as you can see, he's a Dallas Mavericks man, fan, by Dallas the way. Fan. The only Dallas Mavericks. Fan. <laughs> so, um, so who you think starting, D'Angelo? Okay. I feel like they say I read they say they're gonna try to uh, have like a little competition, mm-hmm. see who's gonna start at point guard. Uh, I feel like the way D'Angelo is inconsistent, bro. I feel like they should start Gabe Vincent. But I think they're gonna start with uh D'Angelo Russell because he's been there and then he's the he been in the league longest. And then they're gonna see who plays the best and then they're gonna end up starting Gabe Vince. So do you um No, so you, you think they gonna start D'Angelo? Who would you start? That's I would start Gabe Vince because he can play defense. Mm-hmm. Even though he's small, he's a small guard, but he can still give you some energy on defense. He's mm-hmm. he can shoot the ball. Mm-hmm. And then, like he, I feel like he can do a little. He do his thing like with the little midi, midi, made you know, do a little pick and roll with AD. I feel like that'll work out too. Did then, Did D'Angelo come off the bench into uh, in Minnesota? No, he was starting. He was starting. I think he started most of his career. And then at during the playoff last year, he was playing so trash. They uh, started. Uh, I think uh, Schroeder over him because he was playing so trash. So we gonna see, man. Yeah, I think I think I think I will start Gabe Vincent only because um, he 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 don't look for a shot first. He look he looks to pass, and that's what they need. They need um, somebody who's gonna look for the extra pass because LeBron needs to. Is he definitely gonna pass it? But I think because he I think I will start Gabe Vincent because he looks to pass and not to shoot like D'Angelo does. I mean, they team is decent, but you know you gotta prep for in case uh because you know AD and LeBron gonna be missing some games this year too. He's gonna be injured. <laughs> he just gonna AD, be injured. AD, AD gonna be injured. Oh, he is so injury prone, bro. And that that irritates me. That's because he got all that weight on him. They Tom he ain't got no type of muscle in his calves or nothing, bro. <laughs> he said muscle in his calves. That's no. what you thought about. I'm I was gonna say he ain't got no muscle on him, but he do got a little muscle on him. But. I mean, people, he really. I feel like with us, like when my, with the, because I'm a Clippers, you know, Clippers fan. Um, with us, it's the same thing. We signed a lot of guys, and we even talking about getting James Harden. Um, if we get James Harden, then we just resign Westbrook. I feel you like ain't even want Westbrook. I didn't. That's, I that's, I, that's, that's I thought he was trash. See, see that's crazy. You. See, that's crazy. Now you're trying to stick with him. I, I mean, because he actually played his role last year. Like, he, 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 did, he, he did play his role. And then he played some defense, too. So I, right. told, I told everybody, bro. But he don't always give the effort on defense, though. But I feel like he did Hey, he, play, he did his thing last year. I ain't going to lie. I got to give it to him. He did his thing. Yeah, because um, you, was, you was so mad. I told you he was going to. I told you he was going to Clippers. Yeah, I didn't want to say that. I ain't going to lie to you. But, but, he, um, but he, he got y'all to where y'all at. If Paul George, injury prone, and Kawhi Leonard, Injury prone. One injured, bro. Y'all probably, y'all probably would have beat. Y'all That's probably would have beat Phoenix. I don't if think y'all would have beat Denver, but y'all would have beat Phoenix. It's a big ass if, but I feel like don't nothing matter what the Clippers get if Paul George and Kawhi not healthy, bro. We not going nowhere. So my thing is, we just try to stay healthy. We, just, I feel like if we stay healthy, we gonna be one of the contenders in the championship. If we stay healthy, and it's a big if, because they pretty much injured every year. <laughs> so I can't deny that, but let, let me ask you this: Who is the shooting guard for uh, Portland? Uh, 
I mean, they had uh, Anthony Simon. Anthony Simon, he's good, right? You yeah. think he's good? He's decent? He's decent. He's pretty how, good. How much did he average last year? Like 17? Oh, no, nah, probably over 20. Over 20? Mm-hmm. Okay, so if Parlin is talking about trading him to the Clippers for Paul George, are you taking that trade? No, because who you... Anthony Simon, even though some people would because he's young and he's a bucket getter and he's a point guard, which the Clippers been needing for like since the uh, Paul George and Kawhi Tinga. Um But I feel like the Clippers will probably be worse off because, first of all, you, uh, you losing a two-way player who can score probably even better right now than uh, get, uh, what's his name? Anthony. But he's always injured. He's always injured, but so, why would you, you just really trade them to? Yeah. I mean, but you you know throwing a couple of picks for um, for Portland, but I think they Portland want wanted Portland don't want him because like you said he's injury prone. And then after this year he gonna want a uh, a super max or whatever a max contract. So this Portland not gonna go there. They just uh, drafted School Henderson, which is a I feel like a great young player. Um, if they want to just rebuild and just be young, man, just uh, go through the motions this year. So though. you think where you think uh, Dame is going? I feel like, uh, cause we was gonna talk about that too. Um, only place he want to go is Miami. So he, him and his agent is putting out there saying that, um, y'all might not want to trade for me because at the end of the day, I might not even come to play for y'all because I really want to go to Miami. So it's like deterring teams from even trying to come after uh, Dame. But Miami but, ain't trying to give up who they. Yeah, to cause they gonna say they gonna play the long game and. Which is Dame said he cool with that too, and just waiting to see if Miami go up the states because they just trying to offer him Tyler Hero and like a couple draft picks, probably Duncan Robinson too. Like that's not enough so for who, no who game. Try, so who you trying to get then? Who who they trying to get? What you mean? Who are they trying to get? You talking about Portland? Yeah. They trying to get a large haul. Like who? For Dame. Who, bro. Miami, who Miami got that they? That's that. That's what everybody said. They don't want to know. Miami got nobody. Hey. But he want to go to Miami though. Bro, who, name 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 the players. That, name all the Miami players if you can. Jimmy Butler, Bam Bayou, uh, Tyler Hero. Uh, I can say Chris. They just Jones. lost Gabe Vincent. They got Tyler, Duncan uh, Kyle Robinson, Lowry. Kyle Lowry. Um, Caleb Morton. Then he then he stopped. So yeah, I'm Caleb gonna... Morton. Uh, they lost uh, Max Struess to the Cavs. Cavs. Mm-hmm. Um. That's pretty much it, shit. Exactly. Who they, who do y'all want from Miami? I don't Only see, the then, best two players they have is Tyler Tyler Hero, Tyler Hero, and Duncan Robinson. That's other than Jimmy Butler and um and Bam Mabaya. So then, who do y'all? What Portland y'all? Y'all what? Y'all stupid. Y'all are stupid. Bro. They wait. Like, they not. They not. They ain't yeah. make no trade yet. And that's dumb. I would have been. I would have. Who who else do they have? I mean, want, like who else do y'all y'all already y'all got a young car. Like Tyler Hero plus man. Y'all trying to send y'all trying to send um Tyler Hero somewhere else then, right? Yeah. Cause that's what it seems like. It seems like they trying to But they trying to get Dane. They trying to win the championship though. And uh, hey, I, I feel like that. for Dane, but Dane wanna play with Bam out of Bayou and uh, Jimmy Butler, so they can't trade them too. So it's like it's gonna be. I feel like this is gonna last until the season starts. I don't know what they gonna trade for him, or they need to have a, a a three a third team in the mix or a fourth team in the mix, so they get more draft picks and more players. But just Miami and uh, Portland just trading pe- between each other, it's not gonna work because Miami don't have a lot of assets to trade to uh, Portland that like, Portland won't. Like um, and like, or or is Portland send sending over a, a draft draft pick? I mean, because Tyler Hero is nice. Like, let's not like let's everybody not. Everybody think fake. that he. Everybody think because Miami, you know, went to the finals without him, that they don't really need him. So, oh. so. yeah, all right, buddy, a bucket. I know he a bucket. Buddy, a bucket. I mean, I can I can lock that ish up though. But buddy, a bucket. Bro, ah, man, stop, stop. Well, man, stop. Ah, ah, man, stop. Ah, you out of control. You talking about NBA players? Yes, boy. bro. They're not all left, bro. They're <laughs> not. They just they. Bro, I'm telling you, bro. So I at, sit on all that, bro. Today, in today's yes, work, bro, you yes, would lock yes, up bro. Tyler I will, Hero. I will sit on all that, bro. I will sit on all that. You know how I play defense, bro. Stop playing. Bro. A lot of people play defense in NBA. Man, man, no. And, and I'm, I'm locking that. I'm locking that, bro. Stop playing. Like, come on. Stop. Who? Man, stop playing with me because I'm locking that up, bro. Stop playing. What? You can lock up Jimmy Butler? Yes. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have lost your damn mind, boy. I'm telling you, I'm stopping, bro. You have lost your mind, bro. So overall, who had the best offseason? Like I said, Dallas. Well, you. You, you biased. Dallas. I'm not biased. Because we had the best. Y'all got some good signs. Like we I said, y'all got the Grant best Williams. player that was in the free agent. No, he wasn't. Who, if he, who was if he showed up to damn work. Who, who was better than him? Who, who, was better, than who was better than him in free agent? Oh, that. Name, his name, free agency every, was terrible. Again, so we got the best player. He was on your team already. We we re signed the best player. He could have went anywhere else. We re signed the best who player. Who played defense on your team? We, that's why we got Grant Williams. See, look, this is, I'm going to tell you like this. To win in the NBA, you need three, you need two good defenders and one average defender and two niggas that's a score. And that's how you win. That's how you win. That's how you win. And we got the two niggas that's a score. Uh, Dwight Powell, oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> y'all oh, got no center. Who y'all sent? We got, I, I like Christian Woods. I don't know why we haven't signed him back yet. Because right. uh, he didn't get no clock. And then. And over the. over the. You need a rim protector. And then y'all talking about getting rid of uh, JaVale McGee, which y'all didn't use. So it's like, who y'all sent? He was injured too. He, he, he didn't get no right. clock at all. They talking about waving this man or trying to trade him right now. So he didn't get no clock. But what? I, I hope we don't go get the white. The white? Oh my. Nobody's talking about getting no damn DeWay. As y'all see, that he said that Dallas had the best offseason. That's his opinion. To me, who had the best offseason? Um, it's like right now. Phoenix is Phoenix, like you said, they, they traded for Bradley Beal, so they're gonna be a nice little offensive squad. And that was I don't it. know who's gonna play defense. That was it. Who's I still it? feel like Denver is the best team right now. As far as like the people that had the camaraderie and knowing they rose and him and uh, Jamal Murray, the Jokers, the MVP, so they still the best team in the West, but I feel like the best all season to me right now, I'd probably give a slight edge to the Lakers because they resigned the best. They resigned most of their good players and then they added some few little young pieces, so we're going to see how that is. I don't think they're going to be like one of the top, they probably be a top five seed, maybe fourth in the West, but a lot of people didn't really do that. They still waiting on Dame to get traded. If Dame get traded, I feel like Miami gonna have the best offseason. They find a way to get Dame. Let me ask you this, bro. Who is better? Kyrie or Dame? That's a, that's a tough question. It ain't no t What? I that's a like, tough question. I feel like bro, stop Kyrie had more skill than uh, Dame Dollar, but right now I would pick Dame Dollar over Kyrie. He's more reliable. He's a better I don't, he's probably a better, he's, I think he's a better shooter than Kyrie, even though Kyrie's a good shooter too. Yeah. Yeah. Stop playing with me, bro. He's a better shooter than Kyrie. Whoa. And then, like, like I said, he averaged like 30 some points a game. Because he had to. I feel like that. You, you taking 50 shots per game, you touching the ball 100 like I said, times per game. I, I, I mess with Kyrie. I ain't going to lie to you. I love his skill set. I love that he's a three level scorer. I feel like right now I would choose Dame because Dame's more reliable. How is he reliable? Because he because he Kyrie shows up to play. He don't got nothing going on off off the court. What is that? And then, bro, yeah. You, so you telling like, me? So you telling me? Anytime that Kyrie stepped on that court, he didn't he didn't get like. I mean, he did his job. This job, right? I feel so like that's he, what I'm saying. Really so what are you played. saying, bro? What are you he saying? He didn't have no impact. What? They they was worse getting Kyrie this year. No, they, they was better when they had their role players. No. We had, I mean, they missed a lot of games together. I mean, and I, and you expect that. You expect, you know, you don't expect, like, when you get a brand new car, I'm going to tell you like this, and I just learned this from this dude, bro. When you get a brand new car, you know, it take, it take, like, it's a certain, like, if you get a brand new charger, like, I mean, brand new charger, like, they built that one. You, um, and they send it to you. Before you can go over, like, 100 miles per hour, you have to break it in. And that's how I did. They that they broke it in last year. They just still need I'm pieces you, around them though, bro. Bro, we have pieces. We got them. We have it. Anyway. Bro, it's we uh have pieces, bro. Like I said, he said the Mavericks right now, I say the Lakers, but pending until Dame is traded and James Harden is either staying or traded. Uh, right now, Lakers, he said the Mavericks. Let's go to the next topic. Do you think if Miami get Dame, are they the best team in the East? Again, uh Mm. I don't. I I would say 
Bro, I don't know. I don't know because I think uh, I think Milwaukee is going to be the best team if Giannis stays healthy and Chris Middleton. I don't even think they. Yeah, they do need Chris Middleton to stay healthy. If them two stay healthy, brother, there's nobody beating Milwaukee. Milwaukee it's is so, the best team. But they, the Miami did beat them, though. They did. They did. But, you know, ain't no buts. Ain't no buts in life. They did beat them. They did. They, they got them. They surprised them. Because they really, Milwaukee really thought, you know, they was going to just, Giannis thought he was just going to get off. And, you know, he, he didn't. He didn't get off. But, it, but yeah, man, yeah, I don't think. I, I feel like they're not the best team if they get Dane, but they they're a contender again for the finals. I think I, um, I do think the Bucks is probably like fully healthy is probably the best team in the East. Mm -hmm. Then they'll probably be like uh, who, who in the East? Um, it probably be, like I said Miami if they get Dane. Um, then you got Philly. I don't know what they're gonna do with James Harden. Um, shoot, they could try to trade for Dane, but they don't want to go to Philly. I feel like Dane will fit well in Philly. Him and Joel and B picking no, Rob. Joel and B needs the ball. He does need the ball. And, and uh, I think on. I think Joe I think Philly needs a I think Ben Simmons they need that's who they need back. <laughs> <laughs> Only because he don't need the ball. He don't I mean, need he's the ball a, to dominate. Then he's a big dude, so yeah. he can guard one through four, maybe one through five if you really want to. Yeah. And uh, he was a point guard, but he just, like, I don't know, ever since they called him out for not taking that shot over uh, Trey Young in the playoffs, he ain't been the same. He been hurt. He don't want to play for Philly. Then when he got to Brooklyn, he was trash. When he, he came trash. back, he was trash. I'm he, sorry. he wasn't trash. He, he played his role. No, what what y'all expect him to go get? 30, 10, and 15? No, he at least do what you did in Philly when you was healthy. It's a new team, and then your team, and then the players, your players, your star players are injured, bro. Bro, Brooklyn don't want him. Kevin Durant wanted to get traded. Kyrie wanted to get traded. Like, Ben didn't really, like, he didn't do nothing. Like, then he got back surgery again this year, so and I think, And I think Steve Nash was not a good fit for that for that team. I don't think he he was he it wasn't the right time. I think they just wanted coach. to sign somebody. I feel like, like he's a good like like assistant coach or like a player a player development type coach, but a head coach, it wasn't the right time for him to get he that. He needs team. a young team like him him um coaching the Houston, that Houston Rockets team because they are young and they active. They run. Houston ran last year. That will be a team for him to coach because he played the fast paced offense. So he that team that team will fit well with him. Like that's who he should have went to. But Brooklyn I mean, but was they just got, trying to sign something. I think they got a good coach, uh, even though uh, off the court aside, I feel like Ime Udoka gonna really coach that team up. We gonna see how they that's gonna be a uh, fun team to watch. I'm gonna uh, get NBA League pass. No, they not. No, they not. They, they got they, nice they, young guys, bro. Man, they still nice gonna be trash to watch. They're still gonna be Houston sucks. They Houston got some good pieces. You, should, you ain't been paying attention. They got man. some good pieces, boy. And I don't know why Dylan Brooks, he went there. This man got. What? That's another thing I forgot to talk about. This and man, Fred Van Vliet went there. Fred Van Vliet. Hey, that's what I'm saying. They got some nice young pieces. I forgot he went there. They but Dylan Brooks sorry. getting $80 million? No. Do you see how y'all, did y'all see how he built against the Lakers? Like the Lakers stopped guarding him. And then, like, they got in his head that he was done for. He didn't want to do no interviews at the games. But you was talking all this stuff about LeBron, he got approved to me, and when you, I love poking the bird and all that. Uh, what happened? Yeah. He, I mean, they, they destroyed you, dog. And then he got signed. He, he signed an $80 million deal to go to Houston. That's why I said Houston be an interesting team to watch this year. Nah, I'm going to watch. Nah. I ain't going to lie. to see how they play. They're going to be they gonna be trash. Hey, they might like, be one of the worst. This is new coach, and who... What? No. They're going to they they be a nice thing to watch. No, a not. young team. I don't know if they're going to make the playoffs, but they, it's going to be. They I'm going to watch. They're going to be. They're going to win 25 games this year. No, we going we to see, man. Fred Van Vliet, you crazy for going up, bro. No, he, he got the most money out of them. You could, and that's what he, and he already won the championship, so I guess he's trying to patch stats. But I would definitely, if you wanted to win another championship, you should have went to L.A. And L.A. should have let go D'Angelo Russell. No, they ain't had that. He wanted a max contract. He didn't want to just play in L.A. L.A. didn't have enough money to pay him. Man, if I'm trying to win a championship, I don't know why they don't, why don't nobody want to play with LeBron. 
I mean, because LA, LA, LA had the money to Rich sign him, like, probably not to a max, but they had not to sign him. Rich they, LeBron, it seemed like when players, like role players that be balling the year before going to LeBron team, they don't play the same way in LeBron. It's like a, it's like a big, it's like a big light that shine on y'all team. And then like, if LeBron team loses, y'all can get the blame. But if LeBron team wins, he gonna get the glory. He'll get all the credit. So it's like. Then you play in the L.A. You playing with the Lakers. You got to show. You see what happened to Westbrook when he played for the Lakers? Too now, much of that pressure. No, man, no. But I feel like they not use Westbrook right, but they dogged Westbrook, bro. They blamed Westbrook for everything playing for the Lakers uh, before he went to the Clippers. Yeah. So it's like, it's a lot of pressure to play for the Lakers. No, it's and not. LeBron no, it's not. Yes, it is. No, dog. it's not, bro. That's a winning coach. That's a winning franchise. I don't say coach. That's a winning you got, franchise. But you got to have the right coaches to win. <laughs> you have, you got who is that coach? Uh, the uh, the dude from the Bucks. Trash. I forgot his name. Trash. What's his name? <laughs> what trash. What's that dude's name when we said that? Trash. <laughs> Buddy is trash. Hey, 